Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to the Carthage campaign. If you remember from before, we successfully defended Carthage against the Maasai Ely tribe and Libya. Unfortunately, um, they've come back for more, as you can see. We have minus four food, so it's not looking good on the food front either. And I did say in the previous episode that if I did lose Carthage, it would not be the end of the world. I would be quite happy. Well, I would be quite happy, but I'd be happy enough because Carthage has stretched so thinly at the beginning of this campaign. I mean, look at this. I'm suffering attrition all over the place at the moment because we're so stretched. Hannibal's got a clear march on Brundisium, which I think is what we'll be doing in this episode. Brundisium has a garrison of five, but they are mainly plebs and levies. Got another army here. This is the remnants of the army we defeated before. So I think what we'll do is we'll have a field battle against this army. And we should win this easily. But we will assault. We will try to take Brundisium from the Romans. And this will give us a glorious opportunity to deal a deadly blow against them in this campaign. But yeah, um, I'd be happy enough if Carthage lost all its holdings in Europe. Not obviously not for the short term, but in the long term of this campaign, it's much easier to be um, in one singular area and expand from there rather than be stretched like Carthage are. I'll give you an example. Look at the Iceni tribe. They're secluded. They're on. They're an island nation. They can take all the island without having to worry about any other factions. They can have six territories before they even. Uh, invade Europe so that's my point here we go we have the Romans over there let's look at the uh, the old map they're quite uh, narrow where are the reinforcements coming from I won't say where they okay what we shall do then in that case we will put all our skirmishers which are very few in the front line where are we here we are like so Hannibal can go on the flank Put my hoplites in a line behind, like so. Them on the flank, and we'll begin the battle. <laughs> We're actually not being, being seen at the moment. We will not be defeated by them. Let them throw their legions against us. We shall turn them back. Make ready. Such a good general, he can talk without moving his mouth. <laughs> where are the reinforcements? And they are... I don't know where they are, actually. It's quite strange. They do have reinforcements for this battle, but... Must be the line of sight. They must be on this left flank. Probably under this hill coming up here. I'm going to guess that's where they're coming from. They are, in fact... <laughs> staying still. I thought they were going to come towards me, so... Ah, well, of course, we the attacker, we gotta go to them. My mistake. Oopsie. We shall bring these units forward in that case. Balhamon, be praised, etc., etc. My war elephants could probably win this on their own. That's how much confidence I have in them. We're gonna actually speed the battle up because it's just a waste of time. It's quite boring watching me march to the enemy. Check the old tactical map. And as you can see, we can't still. I'm guessing that's where they're going to be because there's nowhere else on this map that they can actually be, the reinforcements. So yeah, I'm, I assume that's probably a safe bet. So they have levies and velites in the front. And this is going to be a very easy victory indeed. We will attack the velites because they're better than levies. And here they come, right on schedule. Plebs are running, <laughs> plebs are running into the line, trying to form up. And their levies as well. We're going to crash right through them with our war elephants in a second. Try and be a bit conservative though, try to... Don't want to waste units because we want to try and take Brunicium and hold it for, for a few turns, so... We won't be throwing anything away if we can help it. Oh, I'm still fast forwarding of course, right. <laughs> That's super fast that was. But we're getting plenty of shots away, the Velites... Doing the job. But you know what? Hannibal can... can go on the old charge straight away. We're gonna bring everything up now. Let's, let's try to suffocate the enemy. We are losing our skirmishers. 
That was what I was worried about. I'm going to bring this other skirmish and troop out. This isn't a battle for skirmishers. This is a battle for my general. My war elephants. Just micromanaging a little bit here. More elephants. Dealing plenty of damage. Let's go for the let's go for the general with Hannibal. Throw in my hoplites in. Oh look at this. General's routed in straight away. More elephants doing fantastic again. Let's have a look at the stats. 240, 250 kills by Hannibal. War oh, elephants are so overpowered in this game, it's unbelievable. Some of these hoplites barely got any kills as well. Look at that, six kills. Four kills, six kills. Hannibal, just leave it to Hannibal. He'll sort her out. This battle's a very, very easy win. Except for throwing my skirmishes away early on. Which was a shame, but you know what, it happens. Hopefully I can learn from my mistakes. I'm going to send Hannibal in, trying to get him to level up. He's got three chevrons already. Look at the stats though, 700 health. Kills over 300. He's now on his fourth rank of experience. Only lost one elephant as well. And look at all these run amok, resistant, mighty knockback, flame and shot. There's so many different uh, skills that he can actually attain. For glory. I'm going to speed this up because it's boring. Just just let him get a few more kills. Let my men get a few more kills. Here we go, charge in. Wazam. And that should probably be it. So I think I'll end the, ep the battle there. Quick battle. Decisive victory. Only lost 124. They lost most of their men. Battle duration 640. The elephants with the most kills, 382. <laughs> Quite disappointed with my Libyan hoplites. 7, 6, 11. Didn't do very well, but the elephants did most of the work. It would be great if I could get another general nearby and have another unit of war elephants, because they're so, so good in this campaign. And we're going to kill the captive if we don't like Rome. And he has increased in rank, so we shall give him something missile. Uh, melee is what we would need, because that's what we mainly have. Household, missile, authority when leading a fleet, morale for all units, fleet only, authority, melee again. We'll go for authority this time and we will go with cunning authority, charge bonus for all. I like the charge bonus, especially with the war elephant, so we'll go for that. Hannibal could probably take Rundisium now. <laughs> and is there any point fighting this? I doubt it very much. We'll order us all this. Aggressive stance gives us 91% of our troops remaining. Oh, stabbed to the shoulder blade. The Roman is dead, and we have taken Brundisium. I could raise the city. I may actually do that. 61% Latin. We're going to raise the city. At your command. And Hannibal has taken the city now. My lord. Oh, we are suffering attrition. I can't sustain them. Oh, the food, of course. Didn't think of that. And can we get something for food? Public order. We can get an outskirts, an agora, or consecrated ground will help me with the Punic culture and the public order. We're going to build that. We're going to hold up here for as long as we can. At your command. Matter of fact, I'm going to try to group some of these units together. If I can do this. And it's not working for some reason. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. We can't group the units for some reason. It doesn't matter. Uh, the Etruscans. I do remember in the last end turn phase they were heading towards Rome with a fleet, so I hope they can slow the Romans down. Unfortunately they've lost Vela 3 to Rome, so it's it's mixed at the moment between those two. And I'm speaking of the Etruscans, we should try to see if we can get something with them finally. They are being a bit of a pain in the arse. We have got trade, but they've only got two provinces left, so you would think they'd want something Greetings, else. Friend. I've called an for alliance. Good ale to ease for some reason they don't want an alliance though, so oh. it's a bit pointless. There's nobody I can actually trade with or anything, so... It's not looking good at the moment there, but we've taken... We've got most of Magna Graecia, apart from Syracuse, so... If we could take Syracuse at some point in the future, that would be great. I'm thinking I'd try to hold Rome at this point at the moment, though. Um, check the rest of my empire. So we have Carthage. Which we'll probably lose Carthage eventually, I imagine. 
How can I serve Carthage? How can I serve Carthage? Right. You can serve Carthage by helping me out here. I can't recruit anything. Got no money. It's the biggest problem with Carthage. Lack of funds early on. I suppose I could increase the tax. Oh, there we go. Uh, food shortage. I uh, see re unit replenishment goes down, so I'm going to be losing badly if I keep this up. Kartuba's happy though. Have more or less a full half stack in Kartuba. But Carthage is going to be the main concern at the moment. I'm going to go on diplomacy one more time before I end turn. So I want to double check. Um, the only ally I have left is Nova Carthago. I think what I may do is clear target, set a new target of Gaituli because Nova Carthago are nowhere near. They've only got this one province now, <laughs> unfortunately. So if they lose that, then I'm going to be squashed in, in Baitika and lose Iberia as well. Um, I think I'll end turn, not, not much I can do. Let's just double check. Pride of him, can't, can't actually do anything with him. I would take Syracuse out, but I can't do anything with that at the moment. I could perhaps take him down here and help out against against this fleet. That's probably going to be a good idea. Should I? Shouldn't I? Should I? Uh, I think I will. We'll attack his fleet. Problem is, my elephants. Ah, but we can auto-resolve this. Which I think I will. 81% with the aggressive stance. There we go, we've sunk the Libyan fleet. I might actually take this army and go to Thapsus. Kill the captives. Because that's how I roll. And now this unit can actually come. I'm going to leave Lilibayam open, it doesn't matter at the moment. I don't think Rome's going to attack there, or Syracuse at the moment. <laughs> Although I might regret this in a moment's time. Uh, we can give him... Authority, melee against barbarians, missile, do we have missiles in this army? Oh, we have loads, right, um, we will go with the missiles then in that case. Where are they gone? Missile for all, oh, it's like cavalry, oh well, doesn't matter. I'm going to go with cannon as well for this guy. But he's nearby now in Carthage, so I have two generals, two armies. If the Masaili do attack me now, we should be able to hold them off again. Thapsus, eight and two two fleets mainly mob units we could perhaps make a run for Thapsus I'm thinking about doing that really am probably wait a turn to recover though because I only got four elephants left can't do it though without until I sort my food out so how am I going to sort my food out uh, no money to build anything then they got slums that takes up oh god the slums are taking up the food can't demolish until we get more money. We'll end turn. We'll see what happens in this end turn phase. But that's the big problem. Oh, look at this. Rome is attacking me at Brundisium. Oh, the Roman bastards. We do have a... <laughs> six mob units. Well, you want a battle? I shall give you a battle. They've got mainly levies, so... I will fight this one. Look how depleted my force is. This is, what, the third battle now in this army without replenishing? They've attacked Brundisium. They want it back. They've only got three melee troops, though. This is going to be pretty straightforward, I think. I say that now. I probably lose the battle now saying that. But in my head, before the battle started, I'm thinking to use the elephants to take out the skirmishers. And, oh, we got walls as well. They're going to have a tough time in this battle, then. And they are deployed... Over here, right. Excellent. How are we going to fight this? I think we shall put the mob... Uh, stick them there for now. Two units, group up straight away. Stick them on the walls by here. A little bit better than that, please. That'll do. I'll actually put the mob on the wall. Just to slow them down. My two full units here are going to hold the gate. They're both going to be... Are my locked? Do better than that, surely. Him like we that. Are at your command. The formation. Formation. And Ooh. what else have we got? I'm going to stick this unit in as well. It's more of an elite unit, this one is. This is just try to hold them back there. If they do decide to come through. Right. Uh, these two. Plus all of these. 
going to be my reserve force. Best place to put them. Can I put them up on here? No, I can't. I can't deploy outside the city at all. I hate that. I wish I could. This is the type of battle where you'd want to actually deploy outside the city. Let's put them there, in that case. In reserve. I'm going to stick my general. Hannibal. Just behind. Start the battle there. Did I leave anybody behind? Nope. Didn't think so. Soldiers, we Might not need Hannibal in this battle. You know what? God's willing, I'm gonna charge out. I'm not gonna defend, I'm gonna attack. We must not yield, must not fall. To arms. I'm gonna send Prepare these three units out. Ready. Like so. They're gonna attack them. They got levies on these. Well, on one of them anyway. We'll go for that one. Oh, I'm gonna get hit by a lot of levies though. Which I don't want. Let me try and think of this. Logically. Stick hop the taste at the gate. I don't think they're gonna try and come through the gates. They're gonna use the ladders. Two skirmishing troops. Let's bring the skirmishers across. Let's get these men into formation. We'll fast forward it slightly as well. Here they go. General's going up here. I don't mind this. Javelin men! Stick the javelin men across a bit further. Where's the levies gone? They're at the, they're at the rear, right? That's fine, I think. Are they in range of these levies? Probably might be. You know what? Spearmen ready for Go over orders. here. Firing at the Hastati. Killing a few of them with the uh, arrow tower. We're held into phalanx as well. Ooh, they've just killed a few of my men. Doesn't matter. We're gonna hold in phalanx. Probably take this to start a unit out. One of their main infantry units. Here's the other main in infantry unit, which has left the ladder. The general looks like he's. Nope, he's not going up the ladder. <laughs> well, what is the point of this? They put four ladders in place. They're not even gonna use them. Put in the battle in my favour yet again. I could barge through with more units. Javelin men. I'm almost tempted to. You know what, I think Spearmen I will. Ready for orders. The AI playing up like this. Not good at all. We'll hit them in the rear with this unit. Rapid advance. Men. Attack the levies with my javelin men. Oh, and they're bringing their men forward. This is great. This is what I want. Hannibal, you're up. Charge through. You're going to take out all the levies for me. Barging through at the moment. Triari, but there. Levies, gotta take the levies out. I'm gonna go straight for the levies. This unit's routed in. Try and turn with some of these quickly. Turn your fools. Oh, clicking the wrong unit. Doesn't matter, Hannibal's gonna go wild now and kill them all. Trample, Sandy. Kill them all. Try to lose. As many that many elephants, if possible. Come on. Oh, I'm losing a lot of elephants. Losing a lot of elephants, come on. Oh, this is not good. I don't lose Hannibal. Could kill elephants. Give a war cry. It's not going well. In my head, this sounds like a good battle strategy. I've lost Hannibal. I've lost Hannibal. <laughs> Right, that's not good. What are your orders? I've lost Hannibal Barker. I am stupid, right. The general's barely been touched. I was hoping that he would just... He seemed to take forever to get to that one unit. If I'd got through that one unit, I, I was confident I could actually take all of this uh, skirmishing troops out. Fortunately, that wasn't the case. And I pay for this now. Oh, it's got in. Has moon be brave. Don't have much left, do I? <laughs> Couple of mob units. Mob! Put the mob up there because I was assuming they'd use the ladders, but it didn't. Our orders. Our orders. Kill them. Kill them all. Balhamun. Balhamun be praised. Are they going to burn the gates now? 
you would think oh they are excellent that's what i wanted the first place have very few units remaining the tower still firing though still doing damage 30 out of 160 that's good 91 out of 160 160 there that's all they got for infantry all the rest the skirmishers and I'm going to fast forward this because they're going to take forever to do this unless they route which may well happen 31% fire damage and here we go they're starting to route now wavering they're gone I could just sit here and let them do this all day because my tower is here they come next unit now coming up I can just sit back I can drink my drink by here here I go drinking my drink sitting back and watching them try to get through because this is what the AI does although they are getting through this time <laughs> 54 percent but my arrow towers keep firing down upon them they're losing men constantly every time they throw stuff at my gates see one unit is wavering and they are almost through with the second unit 37 34 100% right, they got through, but they've lost most of the men in that unit, so they're not going to be no good. At the meantime, the Hastati have been getting rained fire upon with my towers. The mistake I made was throwing the elephants away. It's just a terrible, terrible mistake. I should have just kept <laughs> kept them inside and let them come through, because now would be the op ideal opportunity. Now would be the point to use the elephants. I used them too early, unfortunately. These guys firing? General dead. Very nice. They don't even say they're firing. Why aren't they firing? Why are they facing the wrong way? Idiots. Oh, there we go. All like it. Idiots. Total idiots. What are they doing? They're not even taking me out. They're just sitting there. I like the fact they're sitting there, but they're not actually going to throw anything at me. Ugh. Yeah, he never learns, does it? Carthaginian hoplites. What have I got left? I'm going to send two of the weaker units out. He's got less men in them. Do I go for the general or not? Oh, my, my javelin men are out of ammunition now. They may as well charge down. Make a charge for the general. Don't see why not. Make a charge for them quickly, quickly. Oh, please get there. Oh, see, that's what I hate with bloody spams of missile troops. I've been playing this on fast forward for like the last 10 minutes as well, which is quite funny. Oh, they come into the gates. Excellent. Right, that's what we wanted in the first place, AI. They might actually get through as well. Form phalanx, all of these. Get the mob down here as well. gonna fast forward this because why not the general's taken a while to take out so we may not uh, do well against him let's just pile these men forward here we go so I want to pile them in I let the fun begin oh and they trying to spam in my tower still fighting oh, I'm got the towers anymore of course oh they spammed in no they haven't hey they we're pushing them back, but we're losing a lot of men. We're not going to do this, I don't think. The damn spam of skirmishers have done me in, by the looks of it. 30 men and 96 men. How are they still got ammunition? I'll never know. I'm sure the AI is cheating. Don't like cheats. <laughs> so. We might just do it. I'm not quite sure. We're really pushing them. We pushed them back. They were, they were by here, but now they back between the gate. Fair play to them. Fair play indeed. Not much more I can do. And we are retaking the tower again. Excellent. Let's bring the mob unit a bit closer. Enjoy the view. Let's have a look at the old unit cam. There we go. Look at this. Fast forward. Carthaginian. Look at all the dead bodies and the blood. 
thank you, CA, for the blood pack. Very nice indeed. Pity we had to pay for it. Oh, and... Of course, the tower's now under control, so they're fighting, fighting back for me. They are taking out some of the levies. Down to 90. Which is good. Oh, we might actually do this. Balance of power is starting to go in my favour again. And the general's starting to shatter. And he's gone. The general's gone. These levies are surely going to go next. You would think. Better charge them. What's happening? Let's go back to normal speed because for some reason the levies are not coming out. I'm going to actually hide hide these units back. One unit remaining. Would have thought I'm just going to send one unit out to deal with them. They are getting fired upon as they run. I'm going to speed up now. All that's remaining is one unit. 55 men. I don't think we'll catch them either. Just so irritating this is. Ooh, my dead elephant. Oh, poor elephant. <laughs> that elephant just moved. <laughs> Oh, I wish I had cavalry. I'd clean all these up if I had cavalry. Oh, they stopped. They st they're going to stand and fight. My men are just staring at them. I didn't tell you to stop. I told you to charge, you idiots. Oh, now they've turned and... <laughs> oh my god, this game is so frustrating sometimes. Why am I doing a let's play on it? I chased them down to the beach. Where's the end of the level? Oh, it's over there. We might be actually get corner them. We're going to corner them, I think. Are they coming back? They're coming back. Oh, they're going. The AI doesn't know if he wants a shit shave or a haircut at the moment. I wish I could go even faster than this. The irritating thing is I'd like to quit battle right now and I can't because I haven't won the battle yet. Even though really I have. Oh, here we go. Have we killed a few of them? Oh, they're wavering. They're wavering. 44, 42 and it's done. There we go. We've won the battle. <laughs> oh, how do we win that? We have definitely won this battle now, haven't we? I don't see the AI anywhere. But there's another unit here. There's another unit, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, for God's sake. Alright, everybody out. We're going to take these guys out now. I don't believe this. Why are they... Ah, oh, frustrating. They're just sitting there. Why weren't they in the battle? they got a full full health. Has the AI done this on purpose because they knew I'd be so depleted at this stage of the battle? Oh my god. Frustration. They got their backs turned as well which is quite funny. Oh and this guy. Look at the little mask. Looks so cute. So cute in his mask. I do like some of the designs although a lot of them look copy and pasted. This guy is the same as this guy. It's the same as this guy. It's like medieval when they said it was like when medieval 2 came out everyone was like oh we've now actually got different designs on the men and i was like everyone was like oh my god we actually haven't got the same units like in rome in the first rome and when medieval 2 came out you basically had three different types you had like this guy this guy and this guy and then this guy would be there 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 and there and it just it's amazing to think that the game is what was six seven years and now ahead of medieval 2 since it was released and we still got the same thing going on where we have this guy, this guy, this guy you have this guy on the right by here who's also on the left by here and it's basically like three or four different units with all the same faces and that's supposed to be innovation <laughs> I have noticed that uh, the more I get into doing my let's plays in my Total War games the more I pick up on things and the more the game disappoints me I mean, I still enjoy playing this game, but to be honest with you, I started playing Shogun 2 a lot lately. Getting back into Shogun 2. And I've actually enjoyed that a lot more. And we're in, I think. It's taking me 10 minutes to get catch up to them. They're getting slaughtered. They are wavering. They're gone. And we won the battle. We won the battle there. <laughs> Only a hundred odd men remaining. 73 kills, oh, that's not too bad by the elephants. 
I didn't think they did that well, to be honest. Battle duration, 30 minutes. Oh my god. The battle took forever. Although, saying that, I did speed up the battle. So it's not really 30 minutes. Bang, bang, bang. Kill. Noble death. I can't believe he's dead. I got no army there. <laughs> There's no army there. Oh my god. Rome, what are you doing to me? They're going to take it, don't they? They're going to take... Do I even bother fighting? I have 120 men. <laughs> I'm water resolving. I can't. I just can't uh, do anything in this battle. My units were so depleted that there was no way I could hold Brundisium, which is a shame because I thought I was making some good progress then in Magna Graecia, but unfortunately I threw War my general away. Oh, what's this? An to womanly peace. Oh, come on. Most excellent. Ares favors us Bastards. Now Sparta is at war with me for no reason at all. Oh, well done, Etruscan League. They have taken Neapolis. And now they've taken all their troops away from Neapolis. The fools. I want to keep a foothold in Italy, so if I can keep Cosentia, then I'll be happy. I've got a decent army in Iberia. I need to try and keep as much land as I can. And what, what is happening now? Libyan spy, by the looks of it. Oh, they've pulled the ships away. I'm quite happy about this, because I can now perhaps make a make a run for Libya. They attack him with that small unit. Come on. What are they playing at? Stupid, stupid Libyans. Oh, and the Masaili. Look. Oh my god, I can't believe how overpowered the Masaili are in this game. Matter of fact, a lot of the African tribes are like that. They have full stacks this early in the game. They wage war on you. Oh my god, Syracuse, what are you doing? <laughs> Hannibal is dead. I'm an idiot. I know. Port is blockaded. Subversion. Sabotage. Mission failed. Well, duh. And there we go. So, I think I'm going to end the episode there. <laughs> Plenty to look forward to with this Syracuse army, with this Libyan ship, with my attempt at taking Thapsus, and with all the happenings that's going on in Italy at the moment. I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.